Arizona, Sun Devil Stadium, and the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl, where tonight the Oregon State Beavers take on the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Over the course of the season in kickoff returns and punt returns, Notre Dame has a 533-yard advantage over their opponents. That's almost 50 yards per game of field position created by the return teams. Seska, the sophomore from Manhattan Beach, California. Well, an excellent kick. Very little wind in the stadium tonight. And will be down by Julius Jones, directed by the poised 18-year-old freshman from Franklin Lakes, New Jersey, Matt Lavecchio. Tony Fisher opens at tailback after Jones was in for the kickoff. He's not in for the first play from scrimmage. It's Fisher. Made the tackle, the strong safety. Now the Tostitos starting lineups for Notre Dame up front. Those five men have started every game along the offensive line this season. Mike Gandy was a third-team All-American this year. Jason Murray alternates with Tom Lopinski at fullback. Javen Hunter, a big play threat. Joey Getherall is their second-leading receiver in O'Leary, a fine tight end. The right defensive tackle, part of the four-man front for Oregon State. The strength, the defensive ends, DeLorence Grant and Ladarius Jackson teams have a tough time getting outside on them. Richard Sigler is their second-leading tackler on the team. James Allen back from injury problems. Darnell Robinson, a captain. And outstanding corners with Hayward Johnson and Weathersby, Carlisle and Carroll are the safeties. Still Fisher a tailback on third and short. He took the pitch from Lovecchio and did not get the first down. Good pursuit from the inside out. You got to play discipline. Let him go! Let him go! Let him go. Hillbold handled a high snap. T.J. Hushmanzada, the return man. There are flags down. By running the ball and getting some first downs, the illegal block in the back. Hey, Jonathan Smith, the junior from Glendora, California, 18 and 8 as the starting quarterback. Oh, and he said, I wouldn't have recruited myself either. Only five foot nine. He opened in a two tight end set. He swings it out to Chad Johnson of their big play threats. Here's the offensive line. Chris Gibson, first team all pack 10 at center. Sykes and Cornell, the guards, White and Sandoval are the tackles. Mauer, an excellent pass receiving tight end and the three wide receivers of whom Ed spoke earlier. All three with big play potential. Second and three. Hit behind the line, but bounced off the hit of Tony Driver. Simonton, we talked about. These guys, we try to bring him down. Weaver and Legree, the stars up front. Scott and Roberts do a lot of the dirty work. Anthony Denman voted the team MVP by his teammates, Rocky Boyman and Tario Harris, and the other linebackers. And in the secondary, Driver back in the secondary after a couple of stints in the offensive backfield. Williams and Jefferson get the start at the corners. We'll see a lot of Shane Walton and Ron Israel. Here's the strong safety. Smith throws low, but a good catch. Made. They've got these guys tied up to the line of scrimmage. And they're showing blitz. And Simonton got by the blitzer off the corner, but couldn't get out of the backfield as Williams on the blitz might have gone into the neutral zone. Bail out, get down in there, and bait Smith into making the max protection and bail out plays his own coverage behind. Play action fake to Simonton. You'll see a lot of that. And a nice catch made on the ball. In his first year out of junior college. And had just 24 catches. But this year, 42. Prior to tonight. And a couple already. Simonton. Trying to face in the middle. He brought two corner blitzes on this drive already. Fake again by Smith. And he threw it a bit too hard for Robert Prescott. To hit. Because Julius Jones took the next kickoff back 100 <laughs> yards. So... They have not been behind, and this is a nice opening drive for Oregon State. Smith a little bit off target, but his receivers are helping him. It's Hushman Zada, but T.J. Hushman Zada just very disciplined in his route running. A great catch there. Impressive drive by the Beavers. Simon powering his way down to the 19. And keep the defense guessing. Run pass, you have no idea. They play the drive, the fake to Simon 10, and they had an idea that time. Boyman on the blitz. Big sack, four and a half of the year. On third down, flag stop the play. Dead ball, full spot, office, five yards, remains. On the new seven-year deal to Oregon State, probably didn't hurt him. <laughs>
Patrick to call the running back. Smith had all kinds of room to run. He dumped it off instead to McCall. And he's short of a first down at the 15-yard line. Ryan Seska, an excellent season. A little shaky in the last game against Oregon, which the Beavers won to earn this trip. And he bangs that one through from 32 yards. So Erickson has the lead he wanted, but not as many points as he would have liked on that promising opening drive. Returnable this time for Jones. And he brings it back to the 24-yard line. Let Richard Siegler, the middle linebacker, run free. Rebecca out of the shotgun. Throws. Incomplete. In a double coverage and a late flag thrown. And he's going to be called for pass interference. Empty backfield now and five wide receivers. And Vecchio runs out of that formation. They put an exclamation point on the answer to that question. The handoff to Julius Jones. He's knocked down again by James Allen. And Portland said he is feeling as good as he's felt in two years. Third and three, and Jones is buried in the backfield by Allen. They allow these linebackers to run free like that all the time. Joey Hillbold, the punter. Good punt. Gonzalez driven back near the 15-yard line. Fumble! Recovered by the Beavers. And advanced out to the 38-yard line. Tostitos Fiesta Bowl with Oregon State leading 3-0 over Notre Dame in the first quarter. Ken Simonton on first and 10 on the 38. The ball just seems to bounce your way when you start to turn things around in your program. And they have turned it around their first ever 10-win season. The pass incomplete. Down and five. Out of the shotgun, Smith, a high throw, very close to the first down. Bushman Zada fighting for every inch, and it appears he has the first down. Smith, another play action fake, finds his man, Marty Maurer, the big tight end, down to the 30 yard line. Now you have one of the best pass catching tight ends in the country to add into the mix. Back on the ground with Simonton. Nice moves and Get three or four extra yard. Taken down in three. McCall gives Simon to the breather. They fake the reverse. McCall is wide open with lots of running room and dropped the ball. Third down. And three. Simonson back in. Tied up by Tario Harrison. Short of the first down. Going for it on fourth and less than a yard. Simonton has the first down. Another long drive for Oregon State. This is the ninth play on first and ten from the 19. Simonton showing his strength. Hit at the line, but moved ahead for four. Incredible determination. He finishes the play. Well, on six. Simonton, a nice comeback move. Coaches also talk about his great vision. In the Bowl Championship Series, off and running with the Rose Bowl early tonight. Nothing doing from a call on third down and one. He lost, and that's the end of the first quarter. With Oregon State leading Notre Dame three to nothing. ABC Sports presentation of the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl will return after this message and word from our ABC stations. Five seconds here in the second quarter. Short kickoff. And out of bounds. But they're fortunate that Oregon State has kicked just the two field goals. And the quarterback Smith and more accurate. It could be 14 to nothing, perhaps. Julius Jones threw a big hole in a 12-yard run for a first down. Look at how the rushing offense has skyrocketed. Had to play some linebacker this year. Get him up around the line of scrimmage against this Irish running. Flags stop. Dead ball. Full start. Gets the offense. Five yard penalty. Remains second down. His pads don't come up at all. Great leverage play. 
He was a highly recruited player, first team all American in high school. And he went for the spring. Third and ten now. Levecchio ran away from the heat, throws on the run, incomplete. And he threw that one into traffic. Record low over an 11 game schedule. Let him go! Amazingly what? low number. Hill bold with the punt. Cushman Zada, the fair catch. At and catching the snap. On first and ten. Smith airing it out into one on one coverage, and it's incomplete for Chad Johnson. And a flag thrown. Clifford Jefferson. At First interference. This is defense. 15 yards assessed from the previous spot. Automatic first down. That's with McCall, the lone back. He takes the handoff. Immediately a flag thrown for holding. Rush for 633 Holdings yards. Holding gets the offense. 10 yards assessed. From the previous spot remains first down. Playing with everything they have, you know, I'm very excited for my teammates. They're doing a great job tonight. Some of the guys said that a speech you gave after the Michigan State loss inspired them. To the Got the Beavers out to the 34-yard line, a gain of 16. 98 zip in the air. The advantage for Oregon State, and they'll add to that total. Marty Maurer rumbling along the sideline and then back toward the middle of the field all the way to the fighting irish 37 yard line on first and ten the call against two. but apparently alex walls words were hurt him excuse me alex brown had that swollen eye after the apparent verbal exchange but he just needs to settle himself down he's usually not this empty backfield down the hash marks, nice catch. Marty Mauer, the tight end again. Cascade Christian in the state of Oregon. Simonton back in. And he made his way to the two-yard line. It'll be Charles White's all-time leading rushing record, but he'll have to get over 2,000 yards next year to break it in the Pac-10 Conference. On second and goal, Simonton again to the goal line, but not in. Rocky Boyman on his back right now. Notre Dame's not far enough behind to try to get out of character on offense. Third and goal from inside the one. Simon 10. The ball never got to the goal line. His helmet might have, but the ball give him a couple of run pass options. Two tight ends, the pitch to McCall. And that was a curious call. They needed a foot, they run wide, and Ron Israel. Well, that was one that looked like it had no chance from the start with that defensive alignment. Terrence Howard, the third tailback. They have three. You have Julius Jones, who's a little shifty guy. You have Tony Fisher, who's the pounder, and Terrence Howard is the slasher. Here's Howard again. Nice slashing move inside. And he has a first down. Mike Gandy, a third team All-American by the Sporting News this year. Howard buried that time by Eric Manning. Lipinski the fullback. Lavecchio with his first completion to Dan O'Leary, the tight end. He got hammered out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Hey, but Holloway has a sprained knee and is not playing tonight. That's a big blow to Notre Dame. Julius Jones. Dennis Erickson talked him into just go ahead and pack his bags and move him Flag down. It looked like Oregon State was offside. And that's a good thing for the Irish. Offsides. Gets the defense. Five yards from the previous spot. Remains second down. Second and one. Jones on the delay. And he never got started. DeLawrence Grant again. Speed on this Oregon State defense. Third down and six. Lavecchio flushed from the pocket. A flag thrown in the offensive backfield as Lavecchio throws it away. Joey Hillbold will punt. Jay Hushman's out of back deep. Another good punt by Hillbold. Sophomore from Centerville, Virginia. Big gap for Hushman Zada. Flag down back at the 20. Hushman Zada. Right hand. He worked on his drop point of his. Don't give away too much free food. And they'll do a great job. This is a goal that has a great reputation for being exceptionally well run, and it's lived up to that reputation. Second and 10. Smith on target that time to Hushman Zada. This will not break that record. And Simonton alone back on second down and eight. 
Smith throws. Bush Manzana might be off to the races. Check that. It's Chad Johnson off to the races for a touchdown. season full of big plays for Oregon State and there's the latest touchdown by the senior from Miami Chad Johnson and to get it to 14 nothing Smith has a man and another earned pass looking for Hushman Zada so it's 12 to nothing with 418 left in the first half of the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl was running right there with him and saw it the whole way. I don't know how he didn't call that a fumble. Here's the kickoff return. Will we see that razzle-dazzle? Yes, we will. Javen Hunter on the reverse. And it didn't fool Oregon State. Play action fake by Lavecchio. Here's looking deep. He runs out of time. Sacked by Ryan Atkinson. What were you trying to prove? So he knows they got away with one and very disappointed with Chad Johnson. One thing, Dennis Erickson, everybody has always called him a player's coach. I spent that year with him in Seattle, and mental mistakes like that drive him up a wall. Empty backfield on second and 21. Lebecki has completed one pass so far. He's been under duress all night and again. Ladarius Jackson took him down. 10th in the nation in rushing defense, 16th in scoring defense, 5th in interceptions. Lavecchio with a flag down, dumps it off in the end zone. And it's Tony Fisher. Dead ball, full start, offense. Pinnacles had the distance to the goal, remains third down. The great leadership ability, the smarts to do the right thing time and time again. Wow, that's a shovel pass incomplete. Not a fumble intended for Julius Jones. Have such a great defensive effort and then let your emotion take over after the play is clearly dead. Darnell Robinson comes in and Calvin Carlisle throws down David Givens. Each team with all three timeouts left. Lavecchio in the flat. Tony Fisher. They didn't even show up to the Coliseum for that Thanksgiving weekend game. On first down, Lavecchio stepped up. Short completion. Record for the longest run in the bowl game. Lavecchio throws it away. All right, you said you knew the answer. What is it, Ed, before it comes on the screen? The Heisman Trophy winner from Oregon State, Terry Baker, had a 99-yard run. That is the NCAA record for a bowl game. Baker won the Heisman Trophy in 62 and played in the Final Four. The only man ever to do that. Played basketball for the Beavers. Third and seven, Lavecchio dancing, stepping up, throwing, caught, Javen Hunter. He can fly down to the 30-yard line, perhaps the 29. A nice job of buying some time because the coverage was excellent by Oregon State. One man rush, Lavecchio going toward the end zone, too high for Detherall. <laughs> Elation before this drive started, he's four out of six on this drive. The pitch to Julius Jones with running room out of bounds with a first down at the 18-yard line. And then 40 of those yards for Notre Dame on the one big pass play to Javen Hunter. Lavecchio flushed from the pocket. Bought some time with a scramble. Now he's dead back at the 27-yard line to Lawrence Grant with 16 seconds. That kind of says it all, doesn't it? Yeah. Second and 18, that ball's thrown up for grabs. Flag down as the receiver went down. By Matt Lavecchio, you're in a part of the field, able to use one play if you don't get in on one. First and 10 from the 12, Lavecchio with time, but the end zone too high for David Gibbons. Zips it into traffic and incomplete with two seconds left. Richard Ziegler, the linebacker closest to it, eyeing the interception. Eight out of 14 on the season. Two for two from inside 30 yards. And with a lot of help from penalty flags, Notre Dame is on the board on the last play of the first half. Halftime of the 30th Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Oregon State leads Notre Dame 12 to 3. And the Irish have to feel very good about that score the way 
they were outplayed and earned a spot there's the kickoff man tried two other times to make the football team without success good kickoff there over the they all receivers in the first half. They go back to their biggest weapon. Simonton nearly broke it. He's got 15. He's probably not going to be able to play in the second half. Walton was the starter before injuring that arm. They're throwing it in his direction again, and it is through the hands of Chad Johnson. So a good no call by the official. Four wide receivers, empty backfield. Smith, look out from behind. He's taken down by Andy Wisney. Third down and 17. Irish showing blitz. Smith throws it up for grabs, and Walton is the punter. So we get her all back deep. And they'll throw a flag on that. He didn't have the two yard radius to make the catch. Five yard. Violation of the two line hand rule on a receiver against the kicking team. Five yard penalty, first down. Tony Fisher opens as the one back with three wide receivers. And Fisher goes down for a loss. 40 on the close. Look out, he gets hit from behind again. The flag thrown, that's a live football. Darnell Robinson knocked the ball out. Oregon State has recovered. But there was a flag thrown. To games with eight turnovers in 11 the penalty. games. There's a fumble in the play. First down, last shoot. No explanation for why the fumble resulted in the flag being picked up. Simonton. Simonton goes to the 23. Second and seven. Smith with a lot of time. Going toward the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Push Manzana. And now a flag thrown in the end zone after the play. Date, so. Dead ball. Celebration foul. Against the scoring team, the touchdown count, the penalty will be penalized on the try. Done his history. And no problem. Notre Dame have momentum, but very briefly, 23-yard touchdown pass puts the Beavers up by 16. To open up the offense. Second and five, and pitch to Jones. And he's on it, but way back at the 23-yard line. And for the has almost as much speed as the ball. Punt. Come on, 17! Bushman Zada from the 28. Straight ahead. Bounced off one of his teammates. And the ball came out. They're not blowing the play dead yet. If it stands, it's a touchdown for Terrell Roberts. And they're not going to blow it dead. That's a touchdown for Terrell Roberts. Might be coining a new phrase when we talk about special teams play, but it's hard to fault the Irish for this. Ooh, was he down? Yeah, well, he, he was down, but then Boyman kicks the ball, a la Nebraska getting lucky a couple of years ago with a kick ball in the end zone for a touchdown. Well, boy, have the Beavers gotten some breaks from the officials, despite all those flags against them. Johnson's touchdown stood even when he dropped the ball on the two-yard line, and now that play be down, but it wasn't called. The two-point play, good. Robert Prescott on the receiving end of the pass from Smith. The Beavers dominated the first half but didn't have the points to prove it. They have the points now. Your Huskies, by the way. Thank you. The in the Rose Bowl today right here on ABC. Julius Jones with the return. And another fumble, but the officials are calling him down. And another fumble for Notre Dame. Well, Vecchio in the flat, and David Gibbons is tackled. We've got four wide receivers. you got to start taking some shots down the field. Flag down to the line of scrimmage. Gibbons the catch about a yard and a half short of the first down. They players in the week leading up to this game, the penalties against the Irish, have lost their last four trips to bowl games. 
Never won a bowl game since the 93 Cotton Bowl against Texas A&M. And that pass is picked off by Darnell Robinson. Eight turnovers the whole season. Two in seven minutes here in the second half tonight. And he wanted you to notice he wears number five. <laughs> From the 22-yard line, Patrick McCall, the running back. Lots of room. First down, shoved out of bounds by Tony Driver. Gets the hole just a, a split second faster than Simon. Pass on the flat, incomplete. He was... Wormulets worked for him for a long time on both sides of the ball. Nice move by McCall. He weaved his way down to the four-yard line. Ken Simonton, who had been recruited by Riley at USC as an assistant when he got the job, went with him to Oregon State. He said he would have followed him to Alaska. And they could follow Chad Johnson into the end zone again, this time with the ball in his hands as he made his way into the end zone. A five-yard touchdown pass, and the route is on. 33-3. to three. The exchange, and there was no exchange. That's it. Ryan Seska added the extra point. We talked about the explosive big play potential of the Beavers, and they have exploded here in the third quarter. Away as they lead 34 to three with seven minutes left in the third quarter. Another good kickoff by Ryan Seska. Here comes Julius Jones trying to cross the field. To do against this speedy beaver bunch because you're independent you don't have to share it with the conference where does that money go well we're unencumbered as you suggested we are an independent and on back into that general endowment fund largely used for scholarships for the student population as a whole and stage in college football he says i'm a fast learner i know i made mis mistakes but i've learned from them Rebecca getting a lot of tough on the job training tonight but he's incredible tonight joey hill pulled a punt under Come heavy on, pressure, he got stop. it off. Hushman Zada waved everybody away, then decided to pick the ball up. And the official's going to throw the flag. They're saying he signaled for a fair catch. Above the shoulders. It is a fair catch. Let's see if the hands... No, he's yelling, get away from the ball. That's... He never called for a fair catch. A fair catch up, Return team. The receiver advanced the ball after giving a signal. It's a five-yard penalty. First down, Oregon State. There's another flag on the field. That ball, illegal substitution. Twelve players in the defensive huddle. A five-yard penalty remains first down. Right at the 50-yard line. First and five. Smith throw into traffic. What a catch by Robert Prescott. He hasn't been dropping them in 2000. That was a fantastic run. Simonton chopped down. Simonton he gets home and there are messages on his machines critiquing Simonton inside the five and down at the three-yard line. And Notre Dame just has not solved this equation tonight. First and goal from the four. Simonton. Bulldozing his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon State. Might be getting leg weary. 41 to 3. Still 4.54 left in the third quarter. Seska's kickoff. Tony Driver finally pulled down from behind out at the 38-yard line. Underneath pass, Lavecchio to David Gibbons. He's one of the best athletes for the right here in Tempe. Terrence Howard delivering a blow to the defenders. He was disgruntled about a lack of playing time. It was his dad who talked him into staying. That's it. Buddy Fisher, the ball carrier. Very lucky to be there before his father passed away. And when he walked in to see his dad in the room, his dad asked him fittingly, what are you doing home? Because he'd been home so many times during his freshman year. He really had to tweak it a little bit. And they'll spend more time tweaking it during the offseason for Lavecchia. 
Vecchio in trouble and sacked again. Sacked for the fifth time. Jackson, I believe, is going to be called for unsportsmanlike conduct. Wow. 134 yards and penalties against the Beavers. Lavecchio after an excellent fake. Lavecchio carries. You know, Matt Stad was a little nervous when they signed those other guys, but they sat on the bench this year and learned because of Matt Lavecchio. First and ten, Notre Dame. Lavecchio just threw it away. We're going to mark that down. Bring it out the first game of next season. Pass for Javis Hunter incomplete. The only loss for Oregon State was to Washington in Seattle by three points, 33 to 30, and they missed the last minute field goal that would have sent the game into overtime. With the relentless pressure, it is fourth down and 10. And he's under duress again, just locking it up, and it's intercepted by Cape Hayward Johnson. And Joey Getherall helped to take him down. Well, Lavecchio came in with 79 passes without an interception. He had to go back to the Navy game for his only interception of the season. He had thrown one. And he still finished second. Had a pretty good career, though. Oh, he, he still did. Is. Right. He's a yeah. terrific broadcaster. <laughs> Cunningham, Howie. And yes, I do know where he lives. Smith's pass. Chad Johnson. Made him look, miss the end of the season. McCall, run down from behind by Rocky Boyman. Into the third quarter. And they're ready to party in Corvallis. And the Beaver fans who are in Tempe ready to get after it as well. ABC Sports presentation of the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl returned after this message and a word from our AB. When the bowl picks came out about whether or not Notre Dame was the most deserving team to be the opponent for Oregon State. Clearly they deserved it. They were 10 and 1. We did. We qualified. Mm -hmm. But you, there is a legitimate argument that maybe somebody else belongs. Well, Notre Dame obviously has a lot of national sizzle. Low snap. Joey Gatherall signals for the fair catch. And they violated that halo again. We have a live ball. Two yard valley, a violation of the two yard halo. We have two <laughs> dead ball personal fouls. Oh. Both will be penalized. Wow. From the 48 yard line, Julius Jones, the ball carrier across midfield. 0.3. No, no! The per play no, average in this half. Um, you know, something he's dreamed about playing in the Fiesta Bowl, you know, big time bowl. And, um, you know, definitely I thought he came out here and did his best tonight. You know, the game's not over. And four. Lavecchio almost threw another interception. Batted down by Richard Ziegler, new quarterback for Oregon State, Nick Stremick, who did not play at all in the regular season. The junior from California hands it off to Antonio Battle, who's their third string tailback. And he'll try to finish this one. Might have a chance to throw it, but didn't have anybody open. So improved to 19 and 8 all time as the starter at quarterback for Oregon State. A catch made by James Newson, and the ball came out, and it's been recovered by Notre Dame. Fumble recovery takes over first and ten. Julius Jones. Picking his way through the traffic. He had to do on defense was to get Stout in the middle. Jones took the late pitch and lost a yard in the play. It's one out of eight on third down. One of the many miserable stats for this Notre Dame offense. He scored just 99 yards of total offense. They'll go over 100 with that catch by Dan O'Leary. He has the drawn. Dead ball. Offsides defense. Defensive player in the neutral zone. Calls off the player in the move. Five yard penalty remains first. And they're ahead 41 to 3. <laughs> Tom Lopinski, the ball carrier. Asked them what went wrong. It, the buck stops on the desk of Bob Davies. 
catch made by Julius Jones, and he has a first down. The reason that the Jones family did that is because their family is all in Big Stone Gap, Virginia, and they wanted their family to grow up, and, and I was bitten by the Irish bug. There was no other place I wanted to go to college. A flip to Getherall on the reverse. He's reversed several times. But Defense coaches get to take a look at some of these young guys and start to get ready for next year. Nice throw by Lavecchio. Didn't have much room to if they bring in Carlisle Holiday or Jared Cross. Oh, good throw by Lavecchio, but O'Leary couldn't hang on. 2,100 yards and 27 touchdowns in high school last year despite missing two games with pneumonia. Lavecchio throws it too long for O'Leary. On third down and ten, Lavecchio zips one to Javen Hunter. He's fighting for the goal line and gets stopped just short. Tony Fisher, touchdown. First touchdown of the night for Notre Dame. One yard run by Tony Fisher. To get within 30. He's running by himself to this side, and he didn't make it. Much explosive talent on that offense for Notre Dame as the Rams. Ricky Walker on the run back. He'll set that record, which he did not want to set. Penn State had 162 yards here against Miami in 1987. And Miami got off the such a name drop. From the 18. And I'm sure it was a thrill for both Dennis and the president to be sitting next year. Battle. From the 34 yard line. Battle. Fights his way out to the 43. He knew. He could win despite the history. Mitch Barnhart, the athletic director, a big part of the success there. They got an indoor facility that's being built right now, and it was really a blessing in disguise that he didn't get the job back in the full state there and ended up in Miami. And those assistant coaches in the booth next door uh, waving the victory scars is such a very good staff Dennis has in Fort Dallas. <laughs> Battle again, getting plenty of work in this one sided game. Let's check in with Leslie Goodell. Well, really, when we get together, we talk about family things. We talk about jobs we want him to get. Up, we ask up. him how his grades are. <laughs> <laughs> Ed, Sean, she told me that they have 50 family members and friends. Oh, ooh, that's a lot. That is. And it's nice that they actually had the orange colored Gatorade over there. Get the first win for the conference. Washington won today, and now Oregon State. And they get three and two for the Pac-10. Didn't start out well. Oh. Oh, they're passing out the Fiesta Bowl champion T-shirts on the far sideline. Flag down before the snap on the third down. Dead ball. Illegal substitution on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Remains third down. They're just so impressive with their team speed. And I think Florida State just has a That's little it. better That's club it. than Oklahoma, but... And Oregon State proved tonight that it intends to stick around at the top of the college football landscape for a while. It's a perch to which they are unaccustomed. They're starting to dig their heels in a little bit at the top of the college football landscape. And if this was your first chance to get to see Oregon State because they didn't play a lot of nationally televised games, get used to this season. They finished 11 and 1, first 11 win season. In school history, they are the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl champions in 2001, and undoubtedly they'll finish in the top five with their highest ranking ever.